back at the pond. Today it is a lovely still day. There's hardly a breath of air. Really quiet out here. I did hear a dog barking just now. There's, there's some walkers somewhere nearby. But it's uh, yeah, 2.30 in the afternoon, so it's quiet here now. Not as much sun as I like. I've actually come back to see the dragonfly. However, I've seen a couple of damselflies and no dragonfly so far. I also came back to try to do a better um, fisheye picture of this pond because last time it was pants and I realised I got my focus wrong because Samyang's, uh, Samyang's a manual focus thing and it just wasn't right. It looked pretty rubbish I thought but I'm going to try again today. Um, and despite the fact that last time I said when I came out I was going to have less kit, I brought more with me this time. So today, um, because I want to do the dragonflies with the uh, Olympus and the long lens, I brought that. I'm still, practice, still testing um, some recipes on the Fuji. Um, and I brought the 12mm for the Fuji as well. Um, this Olympus EP5 that I'm vlogging on now, um, I tested the continuous autofocus in movie mode when I got home with several lenses and it worked with every one of them. So if this is not in focus, I'll be very disappointed. Let's see, shall we? I'm also going to use this Olympus for the as well as doing the vlogging today, I'm going to use it to obviously take the picture with the... Um, did I get the same yang in? With the... Uh, yeah, I'm going to use the 7.5mm Samyang fisheye as well. So, just waiting for some sun now because the pond... You know, it's looking very, very still. Oh coming into land there. Yeah, the pond's looking good and still. Um, you never know. I may take some uh, duck pictures. But it's when it's still like this, the wind's just getting up a little bit. That, uh... Oh well, so much for the duck pictures, they're gone. Um, maybe they're just doing a circuit and going to come back. Actually, I could get some ducks in flight pictures here, you never know. Might give that a try. I don't know where they're off to though. We'll see when they come back. Uh, yeah, I think this pond looks best when it's absolutely still. So I'll wait for the sun to come out and use my fish eye for that. So, yeah, I've done some fish eye pictures of the pond. And I've varied the focus from infinity, which is there, down to half, uh, to a quarter of a meter, which is there. So we'll see where it's sharpest. Also, quick attempt at another vloggy thing with this lens. I don't think it worked well last time. In fact, I think it made me feel sick. It was jerking around quite so, um, jerking around all over the place so much. So, I don't really think this is a vlogging lens. Breeze has got up now. Um, or at least, probably not in the same way that the 11mm is a vlogging lens, which I think is doable. Um, of course, this is manual focus, so I haven't got to worry about the thing focusing. But hopefully, that's fixed anyway. It's none of my aircraft. Ugh been attacked. Um, more dragonflies have turned up now but I've singularly failed to capture them. I think I've done a better job with damselflies but we'll see when we get to um, get the pictures on the computer. One thing that I really you know don't don't seem able to do is capture Dragonflies in flight, they are so um, flighty, that's the word. 
Well, I have sorted out the manual focusing stuff on the Olympus now, so that's fine. I'll have another go at the dragonflies now. Looks as if we may have lost the sun for a considerable time now. So I'm thinking about packing up and perhaps cycling up to Hindhead. It's all uphill from here, but be good exercise and I might be able to test the Fuji up there to see if the new recipes are to my liking or not. I've had a quick test, I'm not sure they are, but you know, need the right environment to give these things a try. So I might do that I think, since, well I might give it another five minutes and then um, I did want to take an infrared picture of the pond on such a still day. Um, I might still get a chance to do that, but uh, failing that, we'll pack up and, uh, and go up to Hindhead, see how we get on with trying to test the Fuji recipes. So, I've stopped for a quick vlog on the way home, at, or on the way up to Hindhead at this church called St Albans. Um, I did just take one or two pictures through the door as well as um, attempting one or two pictures with the recipe on the food. Just sitting quietly on the grass. I'm hoping this is focusing. Possibly it is. But yeah, it's a really nice little, um, it's quite a nice setting here. Although there's more car park than grounds, it seems, but you know, even so. I did feel coming up from um, Tilford, coming up from Til Tilford Road there, that it was a hard cycle. So it's it was nice just to stop here for a quick breather, take one or two pictures. Didn't even know this place existed, to be honest. I can't remember ever driving down this road. It's not the main 287 at Beacon Hill. It's the other road, Tilford Road. So it goes up to Hindhead where we'll be in a minute. So from yesterday's uh, trip to the Flashes and then up to Beacon Hill and then up to Hindhead, I think there were three clear lessons, just from having a quick look at the output of the photographs. Um, firstly, the Samyang 7.5mm fisheye at f5.6 didn't matter where I set the focus, I couldn't get the entirety of the foreground and the background in sharp focus, which Maybe I was a little bit surprised about being on a micro four thirds, you know, it was on the Olympus EP5. But um, what we will do, we will stop it down a bit further in the next test and see if we can get um, yeah, full full focus, I guess, um, you know, increase depth of field on it. So that was one lesson. Uh, second lesson um, was Fuji X Pro 1, I tested out um, a recipe from Fuji X Weekly, um, which is a tweak on Provia, and I'm not sure that it's to my liking. There's a couple of pictures, a couple of photos I took, I think, in the video, and I think it just goes to show that tweaking the white balance, which is... Um, what that particular recipe does, it takes the incandescent white balance and tweaks it, uh, does a white balance shift on it. Um, and I'll perhaps put the details of what that shift is um, in the description. But it's, um, you yeah, know, it's worth playing with, I think, certainly to find something that um, I do like, but it's probably not quite there for me yet. So that was lesson number two. And lesson number three was that the EP5 using this um, 
9 to 18 at 11, using it on continuous autofocus. The continuous autofocus was certainly working because it was clearly continually autofocusing um, and hunting pretty much all the time I was using it. Also, um, certainly on one part of the clip, the, the exposure seemed to be a bit off. So we're videoing this particular clip on the EP5 again, um, and I've set the focus to manual focus, and I'm hoping I'm in focus. Um, so some lessons there. Focus thing isn't really sorted yet, from from to my mind, for making the um, vlog content doable. Um, I think also you need to be careful to keep fingers away. if you're holding if your hand holding the camera when you're vlogging. Need to be careful to keep your fingers away from this rear screen because with a touch screen anything can happen so some lessons there we'll take those forward and see how we get on <laughs>